Got it. Here we go. I think we are now live streaming on Facebook. We are live. Here we are. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. I am so happy to be here today with Sharon Bailey. Sharon is a certified wild fit coach, and we're meeting here in Bermuda. And um, Sharon, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Hi, everybody. Um, as Dr. Tiffany has said, my name is Sharon. I've been a wild fit coach for about three years, but what started me on this journey was finding out that after traveling for a few years and coming back home and settling back into my old routines that I'd gain weight. Not only had I gained weight, I had to go on high blood pressure medication. And also it, it seemed like all the things that um, I never had to worry about, I now had to worry about. Fast forward, wild fit, not only changes my life in the way that um, my habits, but it also changed, changed my life in a way that allowed me to become a coach. And this is one of the reasons that Dr. Tiffany and I have connected is because for us, it is about the impact that we can make on people's lives. It is less to do with um, whether what I believe is right or what she believes is right, is what we believe we can help you to do for you in your life. So Dr. Tiffany, let me think about this. And where I think I want to start is just by telling the people that are listening to us today a little bit about WildFit. Sure, Wild Fit many, is many people don't know the program, Sharon. And, uh, you know, as I've been explaining to my patients and, and folks that have been coming through, this is not, this is a lifestyle change. And this is what we need to do when we want to have a, a long lasting improvement. So tell us about WildFit. Okay. WildFit is a program that was founded by a gentleman by the name of Eric Edmeads. The program not only teaches you how to eat, but it teaches you why you eat what you eat. And that is one of the most significant things that has um, really changed for me. When I know why I'm eating, I can make choices around that. This is all backed by years of study and research that Eric has done. Um, as a result of eating this way, um, my weight naturally regulated itself. I had better sleep, of course, better health. Um, my fitness improved. Just so many things in my life improved. We call it a challenge because we have to do something different. A diet is something that we do for a temporary goal, to fit into a dress, to go to a wedding, to get into a swimsuit. Wild Fit is a lifestyle change so that you can make these changes and continue with them through your life. And while it is not 100% a weight loss program, it is the, the side effect of this health program is weight loss. Because when we are healthy, our bodies naturally release weight. I know, I know it sounds a little bit too good to be true. But the reason it works is because it is not something that you're going to do on your own. You're going to have a coach with you step by step. You're going to have a community with you step by step. And this community spans, um, spans many countries. Very few of us actually meet in person, but when we do, we can tell a wild fitter a mile away because there is something about us and something about the way that not only we carry ourselves, but it's something in what we believe. And you, you, get, to, you get to see yourself in a new way. Um, so let me just tell you a few things that wild fit will do. It can help you sort out um, your sugar addiction. So, so many people are, so many people don't even know they're addicted to sugar. All they know is that they, they call it a sweet tooth. I love the way that we can reframe and label things. It can help you decide whether or not you want to quit caffeine and smoking. It's, it's all about your choices. It will help you to um, probably have better, um, not probably, you will definitely have better um, sleep. That is the one thing I knew, no, because once we have um, a functional diet, 
our body has no need to be up all night processing all the heavy food that we've been eating. It's kind of like coming to this point of homeostasis. Like we come into balance and when yes. we come into balance, the body just says, huh, you know, I'm going to sleep better. I'm going to feel good. My mood is going to be good. You know, my skin is going to be good when I feed it and when I nourish it, not just with healthy foods, but all the other healthy components of the mindset that comes with the yeah. too. One of the interesting things about diet is that the human species is the only species that goes on a diet. Every other species has a diet, <laughs> you know? And so this is one of the reasons that we don't call it a diet. We call it a lifestyle because just like an elephant has a diet, it's basically their lifestyle is what they need to have in order to function. And this is what Wild Fit is going to take you back to things that you, you may not have thought about in many years. Um, yeah, so that, that's basically the difference um, between Wild Fit and other diets. This is a lifestyle change. This is something that you do, um, you make a choice to do. And it's wonderful. And that's what's going to stick with people. You know, they say it takes 66 days to make a habit, a change that's going to last, which is why I love the program because it's 12 plus weeks, right? Yes. And it's the coaching and it's the connection because that's when people really shift, Sharon. That's what I've seen through the years when I ran my own programs is that when people come together, there is so much synergy that happens. It is more than just one individual on their own. I think a lot of times it's, we think we can do it ourselves, but coming into kind of unison and to have, you know, regular check-ins and accountability, that is the secret sauce for, I think, part of the reason that Wildfit really works. Yes. And it's, and you, something you touched on was about the um, being in community and in a group, because what happens is just because you are having a challenge doesn't mean someone else isn't having a challenge. And when someone else brings up something that they've found or discovered that it's either they're working their way through, there are other members in the group that are actually having the same experience. And when you have the same and sh can share the experience, you can also share, share and um, the solution. And once you have the solution, you know, things become much easier. Um, as I think there's an old African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of the key components of Wild Fit is based on the fact that there are six hungers. And these hungers um, um, range from thirst to nutrition to emotion to variety to sugar um, a sugar low and empty stomach i'm just going to touch on briefly three because i think those are the three that are the most important in this day and age the first one is nutrition all of our hunger basically is nutritional hunger when our bodies call out for something it is our instinct. It's part of our ancestral history to go and find food. The good news is that we don't have to go and hunt a mammoth. <laughs> the bad news is that we go into the grocery store and the food that's available to us, a lot of it is not functional food. It is just filler food. I like that. Not functional, but filler food. I yes. just see people now that are just shoveling you know, they're sitting by the TV and they're just filling. It's not for function. No. So once we, once we address the nutritional hunger, once you start to understand that your body doesn't necessarily need, um, I, I love it on the package, it has the um, RDA, the recommended daily allowance. Uh, you can't even eat enough food to give you that recommended daily allowance. But what you, what you can do is figure out exactly what your body needs at any given time. The second hunger is thirst. I think I read somewhere recently that something like 80% of the world is um, chronically dehydrated. And that's because um, we are thirsty and we don't know we're thirsty because a lot of our food when we, from the ancestral times 
a lot of the, um, sorry, hydration would come from our food. So if you went out and you had something and you pulled it out of the ground, it was probably still moist. Or if you were eating um, fruit, it had um, moisture in, in it. It had hydration in it. What happens is when we are hungry, our body says, it may be saying, I'm thirsty. And what we do is we go and get a bag of chips. <laughs> and a bag of chips is as dry as a bone. And the body goes, oh, thank you very much for feeding me but I'm still hungry, but really, it's really still thirsty. And it's once you start to fulfill that um, thirst, your body can then say, okay, I now know what to do with the nutrition. Because when you are constantly putting food into your body without having some hydration, it, the, the signals get mixed up. They truly get crossed. Um, and I, I used to see it with myself. My favorite um, thing to go to was um, a cup of coffee. And we all know a cup of coffee can be a little bit diuretic. <laughs> so I'd have a cup of coffee, go to the bathroom and still be hungry. And I'm thinking, ah, you know, and, but I didn't understand at the time that it was thirst, that my body was actually water and hydration. And once I got through that, um, I had no need for a lot of the supplement stuff. It doesn't mean, meaning when I say supplement, I mean um, like caffeine and teas and all the rest of it. It doesn't mean on WellFit that you'll never have these things. And let me just clear that up with you right now before you start thinking you're not going to Coffee is okay. Come on, Sharon, we need coffee, right? Like <laughs> yeah. there are lots, lots of antioxidants in coffee. <laughs> we, we, we'll have a discussion about that later. But the key is that when you do choose to have it, you're going to be choosing to have it. You're not going to be having it because you are mistaking thirst for nutrition. And that's why I love this program, Sharon. I still remember the first patient that came in because she was talking about her water. But what really got me is awareness, body awareness. Because when we become aware, then we can make the choice. But when we live in automatic pilot, like we're drinking this and eating that and doing this, we have no concept of what it's doing. But when you develop that awareness, which WildFit really teaches, then you can make that choice and then you can say, okay, I have make this choice and then I know the consequence of whatever that choice is. Choice is, yes. And we want to choose health, right? This is what we want. Yes. And I, I would hazard to guess that the whole world would choose health if they knew that it was their they, that it could be their choice. So much of what we're what's happening for us right now is not really our choice. It's we're being led down a path and we follow it because. We think that's where we want to go. The, the third hunger I want to touch on tonight is called emotional hunger. Now, I know. <laughs> well, that's a big one. <laughs> it, it's a big one. And I'm not going to go too much in depth, but I will say anybody that's listening here, you know that we celebrate when it's a birthday. We celebrate when there's a funeral. We celebrate um, when we're happy. We celebrate. We, no, we don't celebrate when we're sad, but we eat when we're sad. Our emotions um, control so much of what's happening. The interesting thing is that it is the thought of doing it that actually um, make, is, it makes the switch for us. It is not the actual food itself. So I can tell you, I can explain, explain this to you. I want you to close your eyes for a second. I want you to imagine that um, you're in my beautiful kitchen and there is a tall glass of water on the table and there is this beautiful lemon and we are just rubbing our hands across the lemon to release all the juices. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into this with a knife. Tell me you didn't salivate. <laughs> Starting. Yep. Yeah. And, and that is exactly it is. You haven't even had it. And our bodies, you've already, you know, that's what you want. And that's what happens for us. When we make the choice to have something, we've already satisfied the emotion. We just don't know it. And that's what WildFit will help you to discover the difference between choosing to have something and having it. And so many of my patients say, uh, you know, I'm an emotional eater. They kind of just, they say this and I don't even have to ask because they know it. Mm -hmm. They know that they're craving sweetness. And one of my teachers used to say, when you're craving sugar, 
it's because you're craving sweetness in your life, mm -hmm. right? And that's the emotions that we need to deal with. And just becoming aware of it can help to switch everything, right? It can be a, yes. the light bulb moment for many people. Yes. Yeah. It certainly was a, um, a light bulb moment for me. Um, I, just a short story. Eric tells a story about um, ice cream and the fact that as a kid, you were asked if you behave yourself and sat down, you could have an ice cream. Now that didn't quite happen in my family that way, but my husband and I were in the Cayman Islands in 2020. And we go to this ice cream shop and they have this beautiful, um, for me, chocolate um, ice cream. It's a chocolate sorbet. I'd never had it before. It looked divine. So I go and I get it and he gets a lovely vanilla cone thing. And I walk outside and he goes, we're going to sit here and we're going to eat it. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? He goes, we're going to sit and eat our ice cream. And I then start bursting out laughing because I thought, oh my goodness, he's relating this to a wonderful time in his family. And it's an emotional attachment to that food, that ice cream that he's eating. He's satisfying a need in him that has nothing to do with the ice cream itself, but the emotions that he remembers about the ice cream. And so I, I just kind of giggled and sat down with him and had the ice cream because I realized at that point, so much of what we do is not only tied up with, with emotion, but memory and what we make of those things. Well, it's quite something that these hungers that we have, you know, and how wild fit is going to help to make you become aware of those and then to mm -hmm. help you to use the tools so that you can start to switch and change it. Yeah. But many people ask Sharon, they say, well, how is this going to work? Like, you know, I've tried programs before. Why is this different? What is going to give me this long lasting change with a program like wild fit? Okay. The long lasting change with wild fit comes because you have an accountability coach. That's me. <laughs> yeah. You also have, I have behind me a team of over 200 coaches that at any time something comes up that I can't give you the answer to, I can get the answer to. The third thing is that you are never alone in this. You are never alone. Um, Diet plans and um, even lifestyle changes have sometimes people, you know, standing off on their own, hiding away, trying to waiting for this magic thing to happen. Here's what I do know. It did not take you 90 days to get in the state that you're in. So it's going to take you a little bit longer than 90 days to get out of it. But what I will tell you, I will give you every tool, every, um, every bit of um I'm going to help you with a step-by-step -step approach with the tools, with um, helping you with your mindset so that you understand what's happening. To give you an overview of why the marketing of companies are setting it up so that you actually eat more than what you want to eat. And you don't even know that. Um, I'm going to help you with your motivation and understanding that a number on the scale is just one indication of health. It is not the ultimate indication of health. And finally, I'm going to help you with your momentum, because we all know that once things get started, we can keep it going and we keep it going by having our groups stay together and then um, helping you to become part of a larger organization. And if need be, we can have um, weekly or sorry, monthly coaching calls after the program is finished. Many, many of my clients have stayed on for what I call my monthly power hour. They get um, a lovely, I, I call it a missive. They get a lovely um, YouTube from me um, once a month on something that is important to our lives. So in, I think it was two months ago, it was the six things to do before 6 a.m., which was a big hit because nobody was getting up at 6 a.m. during COVID because we didn't have anywhere to go. <laughs> but it was, you know, it was some things for us to consider what we're doing with our lives. And because we have that connection, you always have that connection. I'm only ever an email or a WhatsApp away. Yes, I do have office hours, but, you know, it's there. And if I, like I said, if I can't get the answer for you, I can certainly get in touch with somebody that can get the answer for us. Well, it's wonderful, Sharon. So we've got mindset, we've got motivation, 
We've got looking at our hungers. We've got body awareness. We've got community connection and accountability. And we know that those are the key principles to having any type of lifestyle change. And it's not about simply the weight, but it's how the energy and how the body's gonna feel once you kind of incorporate all those principles. Yes. So thank you so much for sharing us about Wada tonight. Now, I'd like to ask you specifically about how people can get connected because you do have a program coming up very soon. So tell us again about the start date and how people can reach out to you to get uh, to begin. Okay, uh, my next, it's called my summer session is starting on Monday, the 13th of June. And what will happen is um, it is held, there are two, the first two weeks that there are three coaching sessions a week with me. You get a series of videos from our founder and which walks you through the step-by-step -step process to help you get um, through the, the program. Continuing after the first two weeks is two videos, two videos a week, but also two coaching calls with me a week in the group. You can get hold of me. I am on Facebook um, as Sharon Bailey, B-A-I-L-I-E. There, yeah, I know it's an unusual spelling to my name. It's not a mistake. It's okay. <laughs> my my father-in-law, that's what he wanted to, that's how he wanted to spell it. So that's what it is. Um, you can also reach me. I'm on Instagram as S-A Bailey. I am on LinkedIn. Um, anywhere that you need to find me, you can. What I will do is in the notes for Dr. Um, Tiffany, I will leave her um, a little QR code that she can post that you can scan and so that you can get in touch with me. Perfect. And Sharon, you're also offering a really good introduction, right? And so that's so wonderful of you. So for the first two weeks, there's going to be an intro rate and then for those that want to continue, which they need to, you know, because they mm -hmm. will be sold. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. For the first two weeks, um, it's called Try Wild Fit. It gives you the opportunity to figure out a couple of things. Number one, um, how this program actually works. Number two, whether or not I'm the right coach for you. And number three, whether or not you are ready to make this investment in your life. That's what the first two weeks will do for you. And I'm offering it for Dr. Tiffany's patients at $50 a person. Um, and I can pop the link for you to, um, if you wanna have a chat about it, you know, I'm more than well, willing to um, talk to anybody further about it. The key is, what do you have to lose? Absolutely nothing. Two weeks. And in those two weeks, it's the same foundation that anybody gets that's doing it for the 90 days. That's why the program really works. And if any time you find that, okay, this is for me and I want to continue, we can certainly talk about how we can do it after that. Um, for anybody that's coming in with Dr. Tiffany, you know, just, just pop her name in there and I will do something special for you. Because Dr. Tiffany is, um, she's an amazing doctor. Here's the interesting thing. When she reached out to me, I was like, it's a doctor. <laughs> but I'm so happy we got to meet. Um, and I know that you as um, having Dr. Tiffany and myself on your side, the only thing you can do is succeed. Yeah. Thanks, Sharon. It's all about teamwork. And that's what I love is to be connected with like-minded individuals. And that's why I'm going to be happy to be there on, cause you start um, Monday. Monday, June the 13th, is that right? Yes, it is at, at 7, 7 p.m. Yes. And that's 7 p.m. Um, Atlanta Standard Time, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Wonderful. So this is wonderful, Sharon. I, I look forward to it so much. I really hope that many of those that have worked with me before, they know that this is again, a trusted program this involves, I really like mind, um, Wild Fit as well because of the mindset and also the holistic approach. We kind of, because there's a lot more aspects we haven't even touched on tonight, um, mm -hmm. but this is, it's, it's really a comprehensive lifestyle-based change program. So Sharon, thank you once again. I'm going to be seeing you and hopefully many other followers. Yes. Um, Monday, January 13th, sorry, June, June, the June 13th. 13th. Yes. <laughs> we don't want snow around. No, we're not this. starting over. <laughs> yeah. At 7 p.m. And we'll have all the links and everything in, in the show notes below. Yes. Okay. 
Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks again, Sharon. Okay. okay. Have a great night. Bye. Good night. Goodbye.